This is 7 National News. In our top story, UAE Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan, has said that the UAE aims to have the lowest crime rate and road deaths in the world by the year 2021. His Highness Sheikh Saif's comments were made during a recent session of the Federal National Council, where members had raised the issue of measures for preventing knife and sword attacks in the country. His Highness said that murders and violent crimes account for 0.9% of the total number of crimes committed, adding that the country had one of the lowest levels of violent crime in the world in 2015, with 110 crimes only, compared with England, which had 1,053 crimes. While quoting statistics of Emirates Centre for Strategic Studies and Research, His Highness Sheikh Saif said that 86.5% of people in the UAE are satisfied with their security in the country during the day, while the satisfaction rate is 84.5% at night. Furthermore, the Minister of Interior added that the UAE had reported 5.75 road deaths for 100,000 people last year, compared with 13 deaths in 2008. By 2021, the UAE aims to have only three road deaths for every 100,000 people. According to officials from the Norwegian Refugee Council, conflict, violence and disasters have internally displaced 27.8 million people globally in 2015. Today, NRC's Internal Displacement Monitoring Centre published its new global report on internal displacement, providing a more holistic picture of what has truly become a global disaster. The report revealed that around 66,000 people abandoned their homes every day during 2015. Some 8.6 million new display displacements associated with conflict and violence were recorded last year. And as of, as of the end of the year, the total, including those who fled in previous years, stood at 40.8 million. The Middle East and North Africa bore the brunt of new conflict-related displacement last year, with 4.8 million people internally displaced, with Syria, Yemen and Iraq accounting for over half of all new conflict-induced internal displacement worldwide. Of the 10 countries with the highest number of people internally displaced by conflict, five, Colombia, Democratic Republic of Congo, Iraq, South Sudan and Sudan, have been on the list every year since 2003. The number of people internally displaced by disasters in 2015 was 19.2 million in 113 countries. Over the past eight years, a total of 203.4 million disaster-related displacements have been recorded. The Knowledge and Human Development Authority has instructed all private schools in Dubai to shorten school timings to five hours during Ramadan, which begins in the second week of June. Mohammed Darwish, Chief of Regulations and Permits Commission at KHDA, was quoted in a local report stating that schools should ensure that the total hours for students do not exceed five hours duration per day. The school day during Ramadan will start between 8 and 8.30 a.m. and finish between 1 and 1.30 p.m. with shorter breaks as required. He added that the decision to reduce school hours has been taken in consultation with parents and principals to ensure Muslim students are fully supported to meet their academic expectations while fasting. Schools have also been instructed to exempt fasting students from physical exercise classes or any other demanding physical activities. Additionally, fasting students are prohibited from exposure to heat to avoid the risk of exhaustion and dehydration. Eating and drinking in the school will be limited to private designated areas only, out of respect for Ramadan and fasting students, staff and parents. Diabetic patients registered with the Dubai Health Authority will now have a revolutionary non-invasive glucose monitoring system available beginning next week instead of the painful needle pricks they traditionally have to subject themselves to. The No Finger Prick Flash Glucose Monitoring System provides round-the-clock monitoring. Patients need to stick on a sensor and they can scan themselves as many times in a day as they like. The scan takes only one second and shows patients their current glucose reading, an eight-hour glucose history and a trend arrow that depicts whether their blood sugar is heading. In the UAE, almost 20% of the population is diabetic and another 20% is pre-diabetic. The DHA will distribute the device to its registered patients at Dubai, Latifa and Rashid hospitals and the Dubai Diabetes Centre. 
Officials are hoping that this, this state-of-the-art device will enhance the monitoring of glucose levels, allow diabetics to lead a better quality of life, and eventually see a drop in the rate of diabetes complications. Monitoring glucose levels is part of a diabetic's daily routine and is important to keep complications at bay and manage the disease. The National Centre for Meteorology and Seismology has announced an expected increase in humidity levels across the country that will run from Wednesday night through to Friday. According to the N NCMS UAE, warmer and hazier days are expected as humidity levels will continue to rise until Friday. Over the next few days, the centre predicted that the levels of humidity will rise slightly higher with an average of 80% on Thursday and Friday. The sea will be calm with moderate waves in the Arabian Gulf and Oman Sea, although turbulent waves are expected for Friday afternoon. Furthermore, the authority also announced that the nation will be affected by southeasterly winds with speeds ranging from 10 kilometres to 22 kilometres per hour over the next few days. Authorities have advised residents to exercise caution by avoiding spicy foods and to drink plenty of water and natural fruit juices. Meanwhile, authorities have also urged the public to avoid leaving their children or pets in the car unattended. Finally this evening, smart homes will soon become a reality according to vendors exhibiting at this year's Distree Middle East as new routers with enhanced capabilities are set to join the retail market this year. Over 52 vendors and manufacturers of electronic and digital gadgets have attended the 12th edition of Distree Middle East, which is one of the most popular invite-only trade events for leading retailers across the region. Among the major exhibitors included Linksys, which have showcased their new generation router featuring new MIMO technology. With the capability to connect to around 20 devices, representatives from Linksys have stated that the router will be launched globally by June this year and will soon be overtaken by new routers that will join the market later this year. It was added that renewed consumer expectations are driving the innovation behind routers as more connected devices become available. According to their latest survey, 57% of respondents were not aware of the technology of the router they have installed at home, while only 12.5% agreed that they use the most up-to-date router available on the market. It was added that in order to meet the demand from more smart appliances, an innovation called Whole Smart Home Wi-Fi will become a reality towards the end of this year. Today you're using a combination of router, a range extender, or an access point, okay, or a or a power line kit to power up your whole house and then get the get get the Wi-Fi across your across all your rooms and within your house, right? That is going to change. Okay, going forward is going to be whole home Wi-Fi. What is whole home Wi-Fi? Whole home Wi-Fi is one device which is capable of self-configuring it as self as a router, as a range extender, as an access point, as a power line. So depending on what environment it is put in, okay, it, com it, re it configures itself to give you the best Wi-Fi experience. So it's not going to be any more about buying a router and a range extender or access point or power line. You're going to buy one whole home Wi-Fi kit and that's going to do, give you a great Wi-Fi experience. And that, these devices will also be powered with a great consumer uh, 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 cloud platform. Okay, uh, and so it makes it very easy for people to manage it, very easy to install it, and very easy to deploy it. Okay, so th that's what is going to be the future. And also, going forward, smart home is going to become a reality. So today, if you look at your smart home devices, you have their own gateways, either Zigbee, Z-Way. Uh, so those technologies are going to be integrated into this whole, whole, whole home Wi-Fi uh, uh, devices, so you don't need any... Uh, Zigbee or Zigbee, Zigbee Gateway because that technology will be integrated into this. So when you bring in a home automation device, you don't need anything else. It will automatically connect to your Wi-Fi and you're able to manage it remotely. According to organizers, the event offers an ideal platform for retailers as well as major buyers to hold pre-scheduled one-to-one meetings and workshops to introduce their products throughout the three-day event. It was added that the 12th edition of the event has invited buyers from Iran, as more brands are seeking to enter the market and expand their presence. This is one of our oldest events. We started back in 2005, 
Uh, and, uh, you know, each event, is, this three event is uh, slightly different in, in terms, of course, of the geography. So we have a district in Brazil, we have a district in Asia, in Russia, etc. So one difference is the, the geography and the second difference is also the audience. Uh, so some events are focused on retail only. So this is the case here in the Middle East. Some are focused also, uh, it's a mixed audience between resellers and retailers. Uh, some other events are more focused on distribution, distributors, so this is uh, you know, a bit different uh, for each event. Uh, also this year we're launching a new event for the uh, Middle East region. It's called the SMB channels, so it's very different. It's not about consumer technology, but it's more about SMB solutions. So the audience will be more the, the systems integrator, the VARs, the solution providers.